I cover a lot of uh, inappropriate material on my channel, so I thought this week I would do something more wholesome and talk about a movie about an immigrant maid who seduces a young boy. Welcome to Exploitation Reviews, and me, Rob, and today I'm taking a look at Private Lessons from 1981, starring the lovely Sylvia Crystal, we all know her as the original Emmanuel. And we open on a couple in a car, and the male member of this couple is up to no good. I thought you said you weren't going to do that. I thought you promised. So I lied. <laughs> and then we're over at a party, and some boys are up to no good. These boys are both rather rich, it seems. They live in opulent houses, and they have maids, and gardeners, and drivers. And that driver, by the way, is Howard Hessman. If you're old like me, you might remember him from WKRP in Cincinnati. And one of these boys, Philly, he has a new maid, Nicole Mallow. Uh, that's Sylvia Crystal, and she likes to tease. It must not have been so interesting to sit across from your elderly housekeepers and look up their dresses like you're looking up mine right now. Nicole wants to do some shopping, so she gets a ride downtown from the family's chauffeur, Lester. And on the trip, he tells her that he wants her to seduce the boy. Uh, she objects, and he threatens her. She's not exactly in the country legally, it seems. Lester has a plan of some sort, and it involves Philly getting his, um... Philly wet. <laughs> Is that subtle enough for YouTube? Uh, we'll find out. Uh, this plan shouldn't be too hard because uh, Philly, he spends a lot of his time creeping on Nicole and trying to take pictures of her in uh, various compromising states. <laughs> and I ain't talking about Florida, baby. At one point, Nicole catches him and... Do you want to watch me in drags? I guess so. Have a seat. Best maid ever. Too bad I grew up poor. The only way I saw stuff like that at this age was by, well, renting movies like this or by finding magazines out in the forest. Hmm. Well, what was up with those forest magazines anyway? So Philly watches the show and then runs off to tell his friend about it. And Nicole doesn't stop with her advances. The next day, she invites him to bathe with her. Again, before things progress too far, Philly runs off and tells his friend about the encounter. But it looks like Philly is starting to develop feelings for Nicole, which isn't too surprising when you're 15 years old. It's easy to develop feelings for people, especially if they look like Sylvia Crystal. A couple go on a date, and after the date, they have some uh, horizontal activities. And then the story takes a dark turn. Nicole dies, and Philly and the chauffeur Lester bury her in the flower garden. <laughs> what? Yeah! But that's enough out of me as far as plot goes. Let's talk some highlights. Well, Sylvia Crystal is lovely, and she is nude in this movie, and I even read that uh, certain scenes were done with a body double, uh, kind of weird, uh, but also kind of cool, because that means we get two pretty good-looking nude bodies for the price of one. On Tuesdays, my local club has the same offer. There's also some pretty good dialogue here. It's not laugh-out-loud funny, but it's pretty entertaining, uh, particularly when Nicole is teasing Philly. And I don't know whether to call it a highlight or not, but I was pleasantly surprised by the weird kind of direction the story took. I was expecting something, you know, really lighthearted, maybe with a little bit of heart, like the movie My Tutor, which is, you know, a very similar kind of story that came out around the same time. But no, this movie is quite different from that. Uh, some people might really like the soundtrack here. It's got Rod Stewart and John Mellencamp and Eric Clapton and Air Supply. Now, I don't like any of that music. When it comes to early 80s music, I'm much more of a Dead Kennedys, Ramones, Misfits kind of guy. But I do recognize that the 80s had a lot worse on offer than Rod Stewart. So that's saying something. Regardless, though, I wouldn't say the movie is perfect. Like a teenage boy watching his maid do, well, pretty much anything at all. Uh, this film has some shortcomings. Well, I guess the only real shortcoming I have with this movie, other than the music that I don't like, but that's just a personal thing, is as an adult, this movie is kind of gross. I actually found it hard to watch at times. Uh, that, that was poor phrasing. Uh, I found it difficult to watch at times. I mean, he's a kid, and that's just ew. And he even has a sex scene, and he gets naked, and you can see his ass crack, you know, splitting the screen. I did not need to see that especially since it was a little hairy. 
But uh, that being said, if you're a teenage boy, it's probably difficult to find a better movie. This is pure teenage boy fantasy right here. I mean, can you imagine being a teenage boy and being seduced by someone that looks like Sylvia Crystal? Oh my god, why did none of this ever happen to me? Whew, yeah. So, if you're an adult, the movie is kind of gross. Uh, if you're a teenager, this movie is probably near perfect. I guess that means I should probably show it to my son.